Hey guys, and welcome back to Naveswell Farm. Now then, in today's episode, we are going to be attempting to sell some corn. Um, apparently, there's a great demand for it. Um, so we will go and see. First off, though, we've got to get the JCB ready, as we cannot handle any grain without this machine. Um, all the grain is down at the other yard and there isn't like a conveyor belt or chute sort of thing so it's got to be done with telehandler but that's okay as I enjoy using this machine anyway so that's alright so 1000 subscribers we made it uh, thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed it does actually mean a lot it's uh, quite nice to have reached this milestone um, now it may seem a bit odd. This video is coming out before the two Thornton Farm episodes which I recorded before this one. Um, so I mentioned a lot about almost reaching a thousand subscribers. I think I'll reach it in one of those videos but I don't check. Um, yeah, what would you guys like to see as a 1000 subscriber special? I've had some ideas of doing like a possible hour, two hour long video um, on either Thornton or Naveswell. I think it'd be Thornton though maybe, as I think that series is sort of a bit more popular as it's every other YouTuber you'd sort of see is doing an actual farming one on Thornton so I thought I'd change it up, I don't want to copy what everyone else is doing. So I went along and did a landscaping series on it. Um, people seem to like it which is quite nice um, so yeah do you guys fancy seeing a very long episode on that uh, for example an hour two hour long and that would be a few jobs in there that would be quite nice I think um, we could get plenty of jobs done in that button is it? I think too far out of here. In fact, where is the trigger exactly for in here? Might be in it. Should be. Let's just back it up slightly. There you go, that'll do. Um, Q R. I don't want to shut the door. I don't know. What in workshop range it says. It's a workshop, is that Z? Yes. So take off this silage kit as we cannot use a silage body, I don't think. Um, no point in adding the sheet. It shouldn't be raining today. Uh, what else can we add? Mud flaps, don't need. Trailer attacher, we don't need. Not wheels. I've got the all terrain wheels attached. Default wheels, could get them. Yeah, that should be it actually. So. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay then. Let's turn around quickly. Hopefully, no, that doesn't. Oh, disappointing. Because I was hoping that I could just turn this whole thing around. There we go. Once we put diff lock on and that, we made it. So, hopefully it shouldn't take too long to load up the uh, trailer. I'm not sure what the capacity is really. Um, as well, we have some more news on FS17. Um, but that will most likely be in one of my FS UK videos. I think it's time for another update sort of video on FS17. Let's make sure that gets through. Yeah, 
and Zai, I don't know if you guys know, I do all of the videos on the FSUK YouTube channel, I'm, so, I'm the official FSUK video producer, that's my title on the forum. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't know if you guys knew that, so I do that. Quite a nice job really, doing that. Just make quite interesting, yeah, interesting videos. Right, I think that's a corn. We have got about 13 ton of corn. Not much. Not as much as I'd like anyway. Um, still got to get that telehandler in that shed though. I think this might be the easiest thing. Back into here. So that shed's fairly large. This tractor won't fit in that shed. The beacons are going to get smashed, I think. Top of the cab had come off at least. Um, so what we'll do, we will put the telehandler. That's a bit dirty, isn't it? I uh, have put this into the shed, and what height can I get up to? I'm gonna have to park that trailer outside because I'm gonna hit something if I if I have the boom up in there. Messer for that, didn't I? Mess it up again. Sort of misjudge that. Just wanted to get it as tight in there as possible. So that I don't have to travel as far with the telehandler. I mean, absolute pain getting out of here, but hopefully it's worth it. Right, so we can turn that off there. It's quite a big machine, actually, compared to this shed. Um, right. Oh, so what? Developer console enabled. A six and a half ton bucket, so it's going to be two bucket loads and pretty much the trailer should be full. Let's put that time down to a bit more realistic. Oh, I've hit the uh, back trailer now onto there. Thirty-one percent con. Not sure if all six and a half tons then went in. That's what I'm going to work in now. I'm not going to do it in liters. I'll just do a, a simple conversion. So for every thousand liters, that's a ton. I'll just do that. Working in tons, I wouldn't work in liters for grain. Sixty one, which should technically be sixty two. Just see actually it should be thirteen thousand litres in there. No, that's a bit must have gone over the side or something. Oh well. We'll get about um, I don't know. Possibly thirteen thousand if I can get a couple of hundred there. Okay. Um, I don't know what the area here seems to be, but hmm. So like a platform there. Let's see if it shows up in there. Didn't like that then, did it? Oh well. Let's go in cab. I don't really go and cap that off when I'm doing telehandle work. It's depth perception on this game isn't the best. I think I'll try and do a bit more. This telehandler can stay here as well because whilst in fact I don't think I mentioned 
I did have a tractor drilling in his field here. However, it got to the end of the field uh, and it messed up like it always does. Typical auto tractor that. I don't know if it might. Did it manage to do it twice? Do two rows? No, maybe just one. Oh well. Set that there. Going round, don't we? Auto steer on. Use your own seed, yes. Front packer, no idea. What? Do that there. Working work with that, yes. Headland, we need a headland. Um. Headland doesn't show up on there. Go for 14 meters. Hopefully that's okay. It's going at 5 miles an hour, so it should be. Right, now just over 13 tons of corn there. Uh, there's only one cell point on here, but it's on the other side of the map. Now, I'm thinking possibly about selling one of these class tractors as we have the one which the other farmer gave us that died uh -huh. I don't know, maybe that story's a bit too brutal it went on holiday, that was the original story bond I think, anyway, something like that um, we've got that we have, sorry about that then, move from the mic Nine something, nine fifteen, eight seventy. I'm thinking about selling the eight seventy maybe. Nine fifty can do all the work, or even keeping them, and then possibly purchasing a fast track on top of that, because forty four miles an hour up and down this map would be quite good. But I mean, we could go for Fent. I've never used Fent before really in my series. Um, Dagoin's got a rather nice fence, and I noticed, I think the speed was in miles per hour, he got to about 45 I think. It was a fairly quick fence, I think, it might be 900 series or 1000 series, I don't know. I don't really know the branding on Fent. All I know is in FS17, it's going to be Challenger that I use the most, then Massey, a bit New Holland, and then Fent. Unless a Fent seems to be really quite nice. <coughs> uh, so yeah as well I have a series planned for FS17 right sorry about that I was just thinking is this the right cell point and it is um, now the series in FS17 is going to be a contracting series because of the new contracting feature which they have um announced and confirmed um, so let's go, I'm going to be a contractor in FS17, I'm going to do landscaping in FS17 again so that seems to be quite nice and I will a well, well going series, it's it's quite nice, the people that watch it are really dedicated to it that's quite nice to see, you see the same people saying this is really nice to keep up the good work. Um, and on that note, I'd say it's about time to read out some comments. 83% on my phone, that should be good. £85,000, we got £24,000, that's just under £2,000 per tonne. That's good. Now, we're going to sell a bit of barley now, I think. Um, this is where it could get messy because I'm looking at a phone and trying to drive a couple of ton tractor 
Luckily no schools about, otherwise I'd be arrested. Middle of nowhere, the police aren't about. It should be okay. In farming simulator, in real life, don't do it. Could end very badly. Comments, right. Tactical vloggers. Now these are comments from Thornton Farm episode 9, Mowing at the Pub. He says, well done for 1,000 subscribers, keep up the good work mate, thank you very much. Can I have a shout out and can you do another episode on Nave's well? Um, I guess there's your shout out, I don't really do shout outs but if it's a comment, if it's like a follow up comment, you're technically getting a shout out there anyway. Um, Oh, can you use a Massey 6616 on Naveswell please? Now I stopped using Massey because of the amount of people um, that were sort of complaining about me using Massey a lot and I personally thought I was using them a fair bit so I sort of stopped. Um, Golden Dog, can you do a multiplayer mowing series? Um, I might do. It'd be a lot of planning though because I'd have to get the people and plus mods. There's only, there's certain people like friends I'd trust with the private mods, but I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't be too trusting with other people. I'm not saying that you'd all put them on the internet. But yeah, I, there's well it's a thing with FS UK. They're very strong about not steal, well, stealing mods in inverted commas. Um, I'm trying to understand really, I wish all mod sites were like that. But, yeah, that, I don't really want to infringe on people's sort of, they say, I believe, technically it's Giant's property, I think that's how they go with it. But, yeah, if someone's worked really hard on a mod, then I go ahead and edit it, make it better, worse, whatever they want to think of it. Um, don't want to annoy the makers of the mods. For example, um, someone asked me the other day for the Thornton map. Um, I said, replied to that and said, fortunately I can't, I mean if I could, if there wasn't such a big sort of thing about oh you've stolen someone's mod and stuff like that, then I might do, but yeah it's just, they've worked hard on the mod, they don't really want to go and I'll do that really. Oh, this is difficult using this bucket because you can't actually get it into the heap. That would be quite cool if they add that to FS17, like dynamic heaps, something like that. Class is stuck again. Useless hired worker. Um, anyway, back to comments. Connor Williams says, "Well done on 1,000 subs, and will you be releasing the work truck like I just mentioned before?" Um, no. However, I will tell people where I get the stuff to edit them, though. Uh, for example, the light bar that's on that pickup truck, FS UK. Um, the chevrons. I found a picture on the internet of them. Just added them in with Photoshop. And if you guys need want to do photo edits with Photoshop, like texture edits on equipment. There is a plugin which you need for the DDS to work, because that's NVIDIA's sort of thing. Um, it's a NVIDIA plugin, I think. Um, I use CS2 as I got it from school and just thought it's enough. <laughs> um, if I get a Creative Cloud membership, I'll use a more modern one, but yeah. I use that at the moment. I might be doing some videos on mod editing sort of thing. Um, so what I might do is get a mod and edit it but also provide you with links to where I get the stuff to edit it with. And it'd be quite cool to see what other people come up with for that if they sort of follow on with the tutorials and that. That'd be quite cool. Um, anyway, actually we'll stop here. 
shut this gate because that's what's causing this issue yet again. This AI which doesn't work. As well, has anybody had the issue where I've gone around the outside of this field on the left hand side there and it says you don't own this field? That's slightly annoying because I'm getting patches all over the place now, which are due to that you don't own this field message thing. And I'm just messed that up, haven't I? Nope, that's good. Headland we've got on, that's okay. Thought my tractor had disappeared then. Um, yeah, has anyone else had that issue? Quite nice to know if somebody else has. Um, any comments again? Agricultural video says congrats on 1k, thank you. IXV1 per XI. Uh, where did you get the workshop and the truck? Off Google, when I, t I, d I, was, I don't really know which website because I don't really like giving people links to websites which have dodgy like downloads and that because I don't want to get blamed for giving someone a virus or something um, so I just say people google for this uh, the workshop LPG garage and the pickup truck that's a Toyota Hilux I think it might be a 2016 edition something like 2015 fact is it 2013 is it 2005 to 2013 and 2013 onwards I don't know. I went on the website and configured one and think I thought that was quite cool. The different options you can get. Purple Panther love the new edition. Well done on the 1K and keep up the great videos. Thank you. The new edition being the very improved workshop. Two workshops and the lift inside all sorts of stuff. And Aislinn Conway, well done on 1000 subs. Frederick Walter really liking the series. Two seconds guys. Right, I missed that turn in, didn't I? Comments again. What was that on? Frederick Walther. Well, we're really liking this series, thank you very much. Um, right. Comments on Nabesaw Farm episode 11 Feeding the Cows. James Smith says, OMG, 1,000 subs, well done. Um, not even going to pronounce that or try to decipher what it says. Um, it says, can you give me a class? Which one? I've got three on here. Uh, tell me specifically and I'll be able to point you in the right direction. Um, try to trim. Can you be some more realistic? Yeah, I'll try to be. For example, this, reading the comments and driving, I can't do. So you've just got to excuse it. I know you're all probably shouting at your screens right now. Uh, but yeah, looking down, not at the screen, doesn't help. Matthew Scott says, congratulations on 1,000 subs. Thank you very much. Agricultural videos, what, congratulations on 1,000k subs. I think that was meant to be 1k or 1000. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Aislinn Conway, very close to 1000 subs. Well done. Thank you very much. Finley Needham. And what? Ah, oh, right. There's th th yeah, three other comments, I think. No, just two. Hi, where did you get that John Deere Gator from? By the way, you're the best YouTuber ever. I like every one of your vids. Thank you very much. I don't think I am the best YouTuber ever. 
for the people better than me, but it's nice to think uh, that you think that. Nice to know that you think that. Um, John De Gator links every John De Gator I found on the internet had the exact same file in which would shut down your computer. Luckily, I checked inside this uh, .zip folder uh, to see if that file was there, and it was a batch file. So for you guys that don't know what that means, you can write them in Notepad, save them as a .bat file, and you can do all sorts of stuff. So I think that one was set to bring up a pop-up saying your computer's rubbish, get some new hardware, shut down your computer. Um, and no, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it, however much funny it is. Physical gamer. <laughs> um, uh, what mod do you use to take the silage cover on and off? Love your vids, mate. Thank you. Um, it's BGA extension, so that mod m means that I can put the cover back on the silage. I'll give a quick demonstration now. Yeah, it covers off. That's good. Walk up to it. R reseal it. R again to open. Well, that's quite a quite a nice little mod there. I think it does quality to it as well, which is quite good. Um, Ryan Epoxage almost 1,000 subscribers. Great work, love your videos. Thank you very much. Concrete and steel tutorial nine. How to using interactive object. Uh, Tomalock's first good video, thank you. FS15 Telehandler Showdown. There's mixed opinions on this. Um, and there's some alright comments. For uh, example, this one How do you get the beacons on the 52656? Um, that is hardpoint extension, so for example, like these trailers, you need the workshop, and then you can go in the workshop and add, uh, I think it's a cage to the front and the beacon. I think that's all you can add on there. Well, that, it, it is quite a nice feature. Um, Thornton Farm episode 8, selling the wood chips. Uh, great video. Um, please give, do you give me a link to the garage. If you just type into Google LPG garage, um, I think that's what it was. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video guys. I will Grab a quick screenshot once I work out which shed I'm actually taking this out of. I'm not taking out that little one, am I? I'm taking it out of here. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Off screen, I am going to do three more loads of this. Try and get the money up, and if I can afford it, purchase a fast track. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, as it really does help and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.